Hey, thanks for taking a minute to click on this video. I am so excited for you because something stirred inside of your heart to make you want to watch this video. You know, maybe life is not going in a good direction. Or you feel disconnected from God and you know you need him in your life. Maybe you've invited Jesus into your life in the past, but you haven't been following him in your daily life. The question is, is where do these feelings come from? Well, the reality is that, you know, we've all been there at one time or another. The Bible puts it like this. All have sinned and fall short of the standards of God. You know, if you're like me, I haven't always lived up to my own standards. There are things I knew I should do in order to be a good husband to my wife or a good dad to my kids that I haven't always done. And then there are other times where things that I know a good employee or a good son, a good human shouldn't do, and I found myself doing them. You know, if we can't even live up to our own standards, how could we possibly live up to the standards of a perfect God? See, our problem is, is humanity's sin has separated us from God. And all our efforts, our good deeds, attempts at being the best version of ourselves fall short. The distance is just too far. But there is good news. Let me take a minute and share a couple of scripture verses. For the payment of our sin is death, meaning darkness, despair, no, no future, no hope in this life or the next. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Being made right with God is a gift that we could never earn. Here's another one. God showed his great love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ came and died for us. See, Jesus died in your place. He took the penalty that we deserve so that if we confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, you have to believe in that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it's by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. That distance is removed. And then it's by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. It goes on to say, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So that's what receiving Jesus means. You're receiving the forgiveness, new life that Jesus has earned for you and a restored relationship with God. Second Corinthians says this, anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and new life has begun. And since we've been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Romans 5.1. You know, all those verses, they tie together. They're saying that you can experience peace with God that doesn't leave and purpose in your life no matter what you're facing. And at Vantage Point Church, we want everyone to experience that. So if you're ready, and I hope you are, I want to give you an opportunity to invite Jesus into your life as Lord and Savior. I'm gonna say a simple prayer. And you know, it's not a magic formula, but if it's the intentions of your heart, you're inviting Jesus being working in your life. And so I wanna invite you to, to, pray this, to pray this prayer right after me. You can repeat the prayer after me. Let's pray together. Father God, right there out loud. Father God, I give you my life. I'm sorry I've gone my own way. Sorry for the choices that have hurt me and the choices that have hurt you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for my sins, to give me freedom, forgiveness, hope, and new life. I receive you now with your strength. And we believe God's gonna strengthen you. Lord, with your strength, I wanna live my entire life for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I wanna let you know, we are so excited that you made that decision to follow Jesus and we wanna help you to grow in your relationship with him. We've got some resources here online. I'd love to, to connect with you in person. I wanna encourage you, if you just fill out the form here at the bottom of the screen, we'll be in touch and we would love to help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. God bless.